if you're in the mood for something sweet and summery, and I'm not just talking about Phil Vickery, <laughs> but he, he has got something else with him. That was nice. It's been nice then. Oh, there you are. Yeah. Well, I'll wait for the backhanded comment. No, no, <laughs> no. It's all love here today. Here it is. Yeah. There we are. Look. So, um, <laughs> strawberry milk for you. Now, I cooked this, um, gosh, 1978 when I was at college. It's exactly the same recipe. However, you need to get a few things basically right for it to work. What I hate is undercooked pastry. You can't cut it, OK? So here we are. On here, this is puff pastry. Now, this is all butter puff pastry that you buy now ready rolled. You can buy it in blocks of 500 grams. You roll it out. The thing about this dessert was that years ago it used all the trimmings. So you have the proper puff pastry for making all your volavon and your beautiful desserts. All the trimmings you put in the freezer and once a week you'd make strawberry milfoy because you don't want it to rise too much. You want it nice and flaky, but you don't want it sort of um, really flaky so it falls apart. Golden rule is, whatever pastry you're using, is you need to roll it out and then use a fork and dock it really well. The more you can put the holes in there, the less it will rise, OK? So you don't want it to be like puffy, you want it nice and light, like this one here. If I just show you that there, if I turn that one around, you can just see that one there. So you can just see, look, so it's okay. not risen beautifully, but it's nice and light. And without making the holes, would that be like up here? Come like this. Okay. Yeah, okay. So you want to like cook it in the oven for around about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, about 180. Then here's the most important thing. At that point, you turn it over and you put it back in the oven and you cook it a bit further so it's cooked right through. If I get rid of this, and I'll just show you what I mean. So it should be able to pick up the pastry like that and it should be like that. See? Both sides nice and brown, okay? If I just break that up, you'll see that's cooked right the way through. Look at that. Oh, nice. Okay, look at those little leaves there. That's what you're after. If it's, if it's raw inside, when you come to cut it like you've done, it wouldn't break. It would just right. like pull apart. It's really important, okay? Once that's done, you can cut it into three. And over here, I've started this because it's a bit of a complex thing to sort out. You cut it into three pieces. Now, you need to taste the strawberries at this point. Some strawberries look great, but don't have the flavour. So I put a little bit of strawberry jam to help it along. So fly there, go away, fly. And so the strawberry jam is to help the strawberries. If they're really sweet strawberries, you don't need this jam, but it just helps it along. But it also sticks it together so it doesn't fall apart. So I've cut a question on strawberry punnets. Far away. If you find one strawberry is really sweet, do the punnet tend to be sweet? Pretty or much. Now, right, okay. great rule here. Go to the supermarket. All the, supermar all the uh, strawberry punnets are perforated. Pick it up, you smell it. If it smells good, it'll taste good. It's like a melon. If melons don't smell of anything, they're not right. I've got to ask, it's Go so on. hard to pronounce. Go on. Where did the name come Beautiful. from? It means thousand leaves. It's French for, I think it was 1869 it was first invented. Then another chef called Anton Carem, Antonin Carem perfected it. And then 18 something, whatever. I, I don't know completely. I should have. Come on, Phil, we want the years. Right. Here. Oh, I'll be on it. Don't worry, we'll be on the website later. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so, now, what, uh, what I've also laid here is double cream. Now, I use double cream for this sort of dessert because I want it nice and heavy to hold its weight. Whipping cream I use for lighter things, which I'll put on, you know, desserts, that sort of thing. Now, to that cream, I've added a little touch of vanilla extract here and a little bit of vanilla icing sugar, again, depending on how sweet they are. So, you layer that up, and then the last bit. I've done that, so that goes on top of it. Now, I'm using four layers here. Is that very delicate, Phil? Uh, it, it's not too bad. I mean, look, you can see it's there. I mean, I mean you've got to be a little bit careful, but I mean, you can't just chuck it around. It just looks beautiful, doesn't it? Does, it does, doesn't it, yeah. Now, yeah. so that there, you want to just press that down slightly so it's nice and level. Now, over here, here's the top. This is a classic way of doing it. Here I've got fondant icing sugar. Now, I was a young chef, we used to have to make fondant icing sugar, and, and now you can buy it. And basically, it's icing sugar with a Gl uh, glucose or glycerine into it, which gives it a lovely shine. See that? Yeah. Glycerine gives it a little set at room temperature. So what you need to do is then pour this onto your pastry. And you need to do this at the last second, really, because it, it will set pretty quickly. This bit would make me nervous. Why? Yeah, like, this so, always makes me nervous. Same like plastering. It's quite easy. It's yeah, not... plastering makes me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just spread that over the pastry like that. Go nice to the edge. See that? So you go nice. He's right. a lovely touch, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. Still. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Years of practice. Years of practice. And you want to come right to the edge like that. For such a rugged man, he's a soft touch, don't you think? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're milking that one today. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, en <laughs> yeah, I'm enjoying you, myself. I'll give you that I'm one. enjoying myself. And then you today. tap that down, <laughs> see? And that, that will level itself. And then here, I've got some pink icing, OK, which is a bit chefy, but you just go across there like that. One. Oh, what a perfect line. Yeah, but if what you're doing is you're, the body's moving, not the hands. Right. So you keep it like that, see, and you go along like that, see, so it's nice and level. This next bit's magic. So yeah. they like that. And they've got a chocolate icing here, which you go in between. Again, move the body, don't move the bag. Like that, one. 
It's such a lovely, two, lovely body movement as well, Phil. <laughs> don't you three, find? Three. When he's icing. Four. Strong, sturdy. I'm going to keep talking. Keeps him fit. Just keep him like fit. that. Here's the magic. My All right. <laughs> and then you just go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Turn it round. One, two, three. Isn't four, that great? Five, six, seven. And then what you do then is with your palette knife, lift it up. It will set in about 15 to 20 minutes. That goes on top of there like that. Makes it look so simple, doesn't he? Oh, that looks great. Okay, yeah. Okay, that's fallen yes. apart a bit. Then you put cream around the outside and then a, a few nuts around the outside, stick them together. And it ends up this little beauty here. This one we did earlier, because I knew we had a bit of time. I just want to cut this to show you what I'm talking about. It should go crunch, crunch, crunch as you go through. Hear it? Look at that, see? Can you hear yeah, that? Yeah, I can, yeah. And then you just turn that over like that. What, what layer of cream, what thickness of layer of cream should you put on the outside? <laughs> whatever you want. Oh, Phil, look, don't tell me that. Whatever Phil, you want. How do I stop? Look, the, it's all... I don't want it to wreck it, but it's just going to collapse in a heap here now. Mm. There you go. Look, I even cut it for you. Bit of strawberry oh, sauce on top. Classic bit of stuff oh. on there. Really easy, but the golden rule is to make sure that you cook the pastry correctly. Phil Vickery, you are insane. Mm. Honestly, that was I feel absolutely a bit, I feel a bit beautiful. Of love on here. I love you. Yeah, <laughs> he I really loves you. Not about you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, really Phil. Good. Thank pleasure. you. It's really thank good. You. Thanks so much, Phil. Good, good stuff. <laughs> um, for all of the details of today's recipe and more delicious ideas from our this morning chefs, head to the free this morning app.